The spirit of Detroit. Hello, Motor City. Uh, you guys have heard me say this, but um, I think what makes Detroit special is the fact that, that, man, you guys will roll your sleeves up and put in a hard day's work. And, and I think we want to model ourselves after that. I tell you what, you would give your coat in winter. You would give your coat to somebody in winter that needed it, man. That's what this community is about. However, 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 nobody will take advantage of our hospitality. Nobody. So that's who we're about. That's what we're about. This team is working their rear off to give you something to be proud of. All right, they're grinding it out right now. And I know this, we are freaking starving. We are starving. Hard times make strong men, and strong men make easy times. And no one has had it harder than Detroit Lions fans. In the past 60 years, the Detroit Lions have never appeared in the Super Bowl. And to make matters worse, they haven't won a playoff game since 1991. But in 2022, the days of hopelessness, pitiful play, and untalented teams is over. Enter Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes, two individuals that are joined at the hip and understanding how to build a roster based on grit, toughness, and competitive spirit, rejuvenating this fan base and rejuvenating the city of Detroit. Now, no one's crowning the Detroit Lions for preseason. I'm not going to do that. But what I will say is that these aren't your grandma's Detroit Lions. This team has been white hot in the offseason and the optimism around the league as well as the city is palpable. Free agency started with a bang by retaining core individuals and then bringing on newcomers that were going to contribute immediately. Obviously, the Lions didn't make any splash plays, but maybe one. But the ability to save money, build through the draft, and get high-quality undrafted free agents is something Brad Holmes has proven he can do time and time again. The Detroit Lions have successfully had a, a decent draft where they attack need as well as want by being aggressive, trading up, and getting Jamison Williams. In doing so, they also snagged key core pieces such as a defensive tackle in Josh Pascal, a linebacker in Malcolm Rodriguez, and a very much needed safety in Kirby Joseph. And these are just the noticeable acquisitions. We have yet to talk about the greatest player you could ever see come out of Michigan, Aiden Hutchinson, defensive end. But no matter how great key these acquisitions are, and no matter how great these acquisitions play, a lot of things are measured in wins and losses. Understanding that the Lions are going to be a composite of what their record is, is a fact of football. Sometimes teams are what we see on paper, and other times they're not. In my great humble opinion, I think the Lions are a seven win team, potentially knocking on the door of a playoff berth. Yes, I said it, a playoff berth. No matter what, no matter how the losing streak goes or the winning streak goes, I want you to stay vigilant, stay focused. Because hard times make strong men, and strong men are one pride. Like, comment, subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this. Click the bell icon button for more post notifications and updates. You want to get all you can so you can subscribe to me today. Remember, we have a current subscriber goal of 4,000 subs. Yes, 4,000 subs. So we're trying to get to that by the end of the season for draft analysis, news and updates, and all 22 film footage. You can get that here from Spirit of Detroit Podcast. So like, comment, subscribe today for more. Love y'all.